Well, morning, guys. Uh, got something to show you. New purchase. But. Not one bango mat. Not two bango mats. Not three bango mats. But four bango mats. Now, these are self inflating, three centimeter thick. I bought all of them yesterday. How much do you think I paid for four Van Gogh Trek Comfort full length sleep mats? Self inflating. How much? No. No, not a hundred pounds. What's that? No, not ninety pounds. Not eighty pounds, not even fifty pounds, not even twenty five pounds, twenty pounds, twenty English pounds for four virtually new self inflating Van Gogh Trek Comfort sleep mats. Amazing. I blew them up all uh, last night. Well, I let them self inflate for about an hour, and then I put five puffs in each. And I'll just go through that one, that one, that one, and that one quickly with you. This one, still pretty inflated. This one, slightly harder than that one. This one, very inflated, very solid. This one, which was the one at the bottom, I think. Again, pretty inflated, has lost some overnight. And I think the problem with these, I'm gonna check up the punctures, but I think it's the valves that actually, actually that's focusing really, sorry about the lighting, I'm facing the window. I think the valves here, because these seem to be generic in any mat you get nowadays, are these exact same valves plastic whereas the army mat one that I got uh, that I sent back was actually a lot of metal in it and brass which I think would probably last longer but these if you try and buy them I think the cheapest I found them is $18.99 with free delivery each and two of them came with bags stuffed bags uh, two of them didn't because they lost the bags but they had um, elastic uh, wrap things around them they weigh According to the statistics and the spec, uh, 850 grams or 848 grams each, which is not bad for a full length mat. I don't backpack with them anyway, so they'll always be in the car or whatever. But for four mats, that is a bargain. Five quid each, basically. Virtually unused. Uh, these ones have got the anti slip sort of stuff on here. I'm not sure how anti slip it's going to be but they basically stop your sleeping bag falling off. Um, I am going to check them later for punctures just to make sure, but it's got like a ripstop material. Um, I quickly laid on two last night, which was amazing, very comfortable. In actual fact, they're probably a little bit too hard. I'm going to have to let a bit of air out. But what do you think? Four mats. For 20 quid. Was that a bargain? The Van Gogh Compact or Van Gogh Trek Compact. Um, I'll let you know. I'm going to sleep on them when our next camp. Not sure when the next one's going to be because it's getting chilly now and I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to being too cold. But I'd like to do another beach camp. So if. Uh, if uh, this was of interest to you, then let me know in the comments. What do you think? Was it a bargain? Was it not? Mm, I think it was a bargain, even if one's got a puncture. Which I don't think it's very punctured. I think it's just the valve leaking, maybe. 
but there's only one really that's got slightly less air in. I put five full breaths into each after they self-inflated. So, and they've all stood up pretty well. I mean, two of them are absolutely amazing. And then it sort of goes in order of uh, less air. But uh, they're still, I mean, if you woke up on one of them, or well, the least amount one, you'd be quite chuffed still, I think. Still be fairly comfortable. Um, so anyway, that's the end of the vid. Tried to keep it as quick as possible. Just a quick update, just to keep you guys interested. Hope you like. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, and all that stuff. Cheers, guys. See you later. There you go, guys. Just a quick add to the end of the video. <clears throat> I've just tested... Uh, Sort of for punctures, I haven't put them in the bath because to be honest, I couldn't actually be bothered. Um, but when I go out, I know which two had the least air, which is those two. The ones that had the most air were those two. So, uh, but there they go. That's my hand. Not too shabby, really, size wise, considering their full length. Um, bit trickier to get the air out of, of the than the three quarter length ones but uh, generally I'm quite chuffed with that for 20 quid anyway have a great day guys I'm back to work tomorrow unfortunately day off today but uh, there you go have a splendid day see you soon